Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Vault Hunters episode 10. Hoping to get a lot done in today's episode. I want to make some improvements to the storage system, finish the first level of the castle, bring the smithy over, and even start planning out the second level of the castle. And of course, run some vaults. But I'd also like to introduce the neighbors on this server. Unfortunately, we're probably going to jump around quite a bit in the episode. There's a lot to do. But as I make progress, I'll come back and update y'all. Anyway, let's start the episode off by unlocking some mods and making some storage improvements. The system that I put down in the bottom of the Arpora room is specifically for unloading our pouches when we get back from vaults. I told you before that these blocks under the pouches are modular routers. Uh, inside each one of them there is a polar module mark 1 and a sender module mark 2. What the polar module does inside a modular router is it pulls items from an inventory that is placed on top of it at least in this configuration, since we have the up selected. Now this ignores all of these items, including all of the items in this item filter. This item filter contains the items in my overworld bag that I don't want to empty out, such as my sword, my gadgets, my hoe, my water bucket. And then the sender module sends it to a targeted block. Now this is a Mark II, so it can send it anywhere within 12 blocks. I have it set to send to this interface right here, which is hooked up to our storage system. Okay, now that we've got that all sorted, let's start building. First thing I have the inspiration to work on is the courtyard. So, here we go.
All right, it's becoming more and more apparent that we need to bring the smithy over here. So I did a little reorganizing off camera. Let's go take a look. So previously coming through this hall uh, off of the courtyard, you, know, you would come into the great hall, which you still do. And the kitchen would be over here. There would be a barracks over there. Uh, that has changed. The great hall has gotten a little bit shorter. It now ends here. It did go all the way to this wall. The big difference is right here. When you come down this hallway, this is the smithy. I think I'm going to blow this wall out and build some out of this wall too. So this wall of the smithy might actually be able to move in a couple of blocks because we won't need as much space. Those are the big changes in the layout. Uh, I think we should just go ahead and get into bringing the smithy over here. Uh, let's get to it. Dance, little squirrel. Dance. Show us what you're made of. Okay, I think I'm at a point where I'm relatively happy with the smithy as of right now. So let's go check it out. First off, we have this nice, neat little shop front right out of the front of the castle. Uh, this connects into the blacksmith's room, and it's just a way for the smith to make a little bit of extra cash. Here's the rest of the smithy. A lot of this is just decoration. Uh, but there is tons of functionality in this room. For instance, we have our vault recycler, our vault forge, and our artisan station. And over here, we have our transmogrification table and our modifier workbench, and all of our uh, stations to work on tools and apply jewels to them. You also notice this grid here. Um, this grid is not hooked up to our uh, main system because this is simply for storing jewels and foci. There might be some other things that we eventually store in here. Yeah, uh, that's the smithy. Personally, I'm getting a little tired of building at the moment. So, let's run a vault.
Okay, I've got a little more motivation after that vault, so let's work on some of the smaller builds in the castle. Uh, maybe the castle gate and the horde. Just wanted to note that I filled in the top layer of the first level in with tough. It's a tough situation, but I ran out of tough like twice. Uh, this area right here that you can see is the places that we have to build in. We'll earmark some areas probably here soon. I know one thing that I do want to put up here for sure is a library. Thinking either over in that area right there or directly over here. We also have the castle gate done. I, I really like this build. Um, I like how the chains for the gate kind of um, disappear into the darkness up there. And these like stairs kind of form like little locking teeth. Okay, so last time I had an inspiration block. I ran a vault to um, get past it, and I find myself with another block. So I think a vault run. Well, this is slightly embarrassing, but I forgot to press record. No, oh, it was a great vault. A lot of gilded. Actually, opened a dungeon um, as well. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and open the crate. Right, we've got some pretty decent inscriptions from the last couple of vaults we did, uh, as well as a couple of decent jewels. Put the stuff away, and then we'll identify all this gear. And identify. Ooh, rare wand. Nice. 
lifeboat. It's a nice looking sword. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, we'll go ahead and keep these and uh, jump the rest. All right, let's see how close we can get to level 50 with just burgers. Level 50 with 71 Crispy Deluxe left. Awesome. That was definitely right. That vault unblocks some of my creator block, and I'm ready to get on to one more build. So, let's make the throne room. And now for the final segment of this episode, let's meet our neighbors. <laughs> and play past pass the mom. <laughs> okay, so it's just us three on this server, yeah? Yeah. Just me, my wife, my daughter. Okay, uh, so yeah, my wife, right? Right? You, you, are, you are my wife. I think yeah. so. Yeah. I hope so. Mom, are you my mom? Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I like turtles, tortoises. Mm -hmm. Really? I like the color green because of turtles. Really? <laughs> well, I. I don't play Minecraft as often as uh, dad and daughter. I have two other kids I like to spend time with as well. I have a dog because I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> okay. Child. Sorry. Sit. Do you need to give her a treat too? Well, I'll give her a treat. <laughs> Hello, daughter. Hello, father. Hello, mother. How about you tell us a little bit about yourself? I like the color gray. You like the color gray? Yeah. 
No. That's not possible. You just look up to my name. Maybe. Hang on, I'm going to sleep right. real quick. Daughter. Sorry. You forced <laughs> my hand. Is there anything else you would like to tell the world? I can't sit still. Mm-hmm. We, we know. Yeah, I don't talk a lot. Because especially when I'm playing Minecraft, like, I'll get really focused and I, like, I'll just go quiet randomly. That's why there's just a bunch of, like, random clips where I'm just, it's just dead silent in my videos. <laughs> you look like a fish trying to get out of the water. 